Hi YouTube audience, today, Tuesday, August 26th, is my mom's birthday. It is also less than one week until Labor Day. Next weekend will be Labor Day weekend. When I think of, when I think of Labor Day, I think of the summer ending and schools starting up. Though a lot of schools now start before Labor Day, at least in my part of the country they do. Parents and grandparents, I want to encourage you to think about what kind of school will your children or grandchildren be attending this year. Those of you who are regular viewers of my videos or readers of my blog know I feel parents who believe the Bible is God's word should remove their kids from the government schools, public schools. However, I leave that up to you. I know good people and godly people that have their kids in the government schools, but I just do not believe that the, the children of, of Bible-believing parents believe, belong in the government schools. Okay? But again, I leave that up to you. And I'm not going to say you're in sin if you don't remove your children from those schools. That's between you and God. Young people, are you committed to learning this? Committed to learning this year, improving where you need to be improved, and being a mad kid, a make a difference kid before your teachers and fellow students? That would be a good goal to have. Educators, and those of you who work with young people in the schools, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you work in a government school, you not only deserve our thanks, but also our prayers. God bless you. I know working with young people in the schools can be hard and very stressful. I happen to work in a private religious school. However, I want to encourage all of us who work in the schools to think about the impact we can make in the lives of young people. Now let me read something that my boss gave us who work in the program, work at the school I work at. Here's what it says. 100 years from now, it will not matter what my bank account was, the type of house I lived in, or the kind of car I drove. But the word may be different because I was important in the life of a child. Amen. Think about that when you get discouraged. Until next time, I'm Billy. See, see you.